Now in this section we're going to differentiate between what we refer to as nominal versus real GDP. Why do we need to make this differentiation? Well inflation, which is the average increase in the price level, can distort economic variables like GDP. So that's why we have two versions of GDP. One version corrects for inflation, the other does not. Nominal GDP values output using current prices. It does not correct for inflation. If we are calculating nominal GDP for 2010, you use 2010 prices. If you're calculating nominal GDP in 2012, you're using 2012 prices. As opposed to real GDP. Real GDP values output using the prices of some base year. So it holds prices constant. And what that means is once the base year is identified, let's say the base year is 2005, then all the output in any year, whether it's 2005, 2006, 7, 8, 9, what have you, all the output in that year is evaluated using the 2005 prices. So we refer to this a lot of times as real GDP is using constant prices. Let's highlight this with an example. So let's say this is a typical college town's economy. They produce pizza and they produce lattes. And what we have is the actual output produced as well as the prices, the market prices for pizza and lattes for three consecutive years. If we were calculating nominal GDP in each year, in 2010 we get the value of a pizza in 2010 by taking the quantity of pizzas times the price of a pizza and adding to it the value of lattes produced. So the quantity of lattes times the price of lattes. In 2011 we would get the value of pizza and lattes produced by taking the quantity of pizzas times the price of pizzas in that year and doing a similar thing for lattes. And as you can see we see that in 2011 total value of GDP in this year is just over $8,000. In 2010 the total value was only $6,000. And finally for 2012 the value of nominal GDP is equal to $10,800. So once again all we do is for each year use the output of pizzas produced times the market price of a pizza to get the total value of pizzas in each year and add to that the value of the other goods that are produced in that economy, in this simple case just lattes, the quantity of lattes produced in each year times the price of a latte in each year. We can see by using our GDP growth rate that in 2011 the economy grew 37 and a half percent and in 2012 it grew almost 31 percent. Now if we want to calculate real GDP in each year, we first need to define a base year. And I'm going to define the base year as 2010. So what's that mean? That means we're going to use the price of a pizza in 2010, the price of a latte in 2010, and evaluate output in 2010, 2011, and 2012 using those base year prices. So in this case, notice that in each year the prices do not change. We're using the base year prices but we're allowing the quantity to change, the quantity reflecting the total production in the economy. Price of lattes has not changed but we've allowed the quantity to reflect the actual production in those years. Real GDP increased 20% in 2011 and it increased a little under 17% in 2012. Let's kind of put all this together. So these are the nominal and real GDP numbers that we just calculated. Notice that nominal and real GDP are equal to each other in 2010. This is because 2010 was the base year. So the current price is equal to the base year price. So it will always be true that real and nominal GDP will be equal to each other in the base year. In each year nominal GDP was measured using what were then the current prices, 2010 prices, 2011 prices, 2012 prices. Real GDP was measured using the constant prices, the base year price or 2010 prices in this example. The change in nominal GDP was larger than the change in real GDP. The reason being the change in nominal GDP reflected both price and quantity changes whereas the change in real GDP only took into consideration the change in quantities. We held the prices constant. We did not allow for inflation, hence the reason why 
the growth rate in real GDP is generally going to be lower than the growth rate in nominal GDP. Now here's a graph that looks at the growth rate of US real GDP over roughly a 60 year period. The red line here gives us the average growth rate over this period. Notice that on average GDP grew about 3.4 percent. In some years GDP grew above that average trend line. Here we see back in 1950 grew over 8 percent. In the mid 80s it grew about 7 percent. But sometimes the growth rate is less than the trend. And sometimes we even see that it is negative. During the most recent re recession we had negative growth which means the economy actually contracted.